Hello, how are you today? Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, to be honest, I am tired. Okay. It's normal, right? After working all day? Yes, uh, I need a vacation. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. Just three more weeks. Well, not complete weeks, right? Almost three more weeks and we will be on vacation. Yes. Okay. Do you have vacations at work at the end of the week, of the year? Uh, yes, I, I, I am going to vacation on... My last day is the December twenty twenty seven. Oh, twenty seven. Okay, so one more week right after we finish. Mm -hmm. So about three weeks, right? Three weeks to go on vacation. We're getting close. Three weeks. Fast, but very, very fast. Well, I'm going to call you today. We're talking about uh, can and could. Those are the models that we are going to be using. We can use uh, can and could to talk about ability, possibility, uh, to be formal, and today, we are going to use them with the meaning of possibility, but we are also going to study the, the other uses, right? That you have for him. So you get familiarized with all the uses just in case later on in another opportunity, you find it or you see it again, you know that it has another meaning, not just not just one. It's not only possibility, it is also ability. You can use can for permission, and you can also use a can in negative for prohibition. So we're going to see all those things. So you see the difference also when you see can as ability and when using it as permission. Okay, well, tell me present, I guess. Well, not everybody is here, but many of you are already here. Let's see? Hmm. How was your day? Did you have a nice day? Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Did you have a Good evening, nice teacher? Good evening. I have a nice day, yeah. but um, it's very complicated and a lot of responsibilities. I know. I know. It's not easy, right? To have mm -hmm. lots of responsibilities, but the good thing is that we have something to do. <laughs> if no, imagine that would be very boring not having anything to do. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. Tell me, Bella, present, Bella Lisbeth. Present, teacher. Excellent. Hey, Carlos Roberto. Present, teacher. Darling, Jasmine. Darling. Mm -hmm. Denis Aronai. Denis, Denis. Edgar Eduardo. Good evening, teacher. Present. Edgar. Present, teacher. Okay. Gabriela Espini. Present, teacher. Germán Agustín. Present, teacher. Jessica Raquel. Present, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Salud. Thank you. Carla Maria. 
por la María. Bueno, aquí no sé. Kili Marcela. Kili. Kili Kili. Present teacher. Marcelo Blanco. Good evening. Good evening. Marcelo. Marcelo, no hay. Mauricio Giovanni. Mauricio. Present. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Moisés Elías. Present teacher. Norma Maritza. Norma. Yeah. Pedro Antonio. Present teacher. Ronald Josué. Present. Sabrina Lisette. Present. Tamara Lisette. Tamara. Waldemar. Walter. Okay. <clears throat> Faltan varios. Okay. Vamos a ver. Hmm. Faltan quién? Quiero ver. Seven. Right? About seven. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Excellent. Ready. Ready, I'm going to share the screen. It's November 28th, right? November 28th. We are getting close to the end of the month. And today, as I told you before, we are going to talk about how to use can and could. How to use can and could. Uh, the objective for today, participants will be able to ask and answer questions using can and could in a pairs, effectively following the level of formality that each of them requires, right? In pairs, le vamos a quitar in a pairs. So working in pairs, you're going to uh, check, right, the informal. We use could when we want to be very formal, and you will see that today. Can is informal, while could is formal. It's more formal and it's more polite. <clears throat> Okay, making a little bit, a little review of yesterday's class. Remember yesterday we were talking about countable and uncountable things, right? When do we use how much? In this case, we're talking about the price. So we say how much is this computer? How much is this? We use this because we have only one computer. How much is this computer? It is $500. How much is that blouse? It is $20. How much are these jeans? Remember jeans? We said jeans are plural all the time, right? Jeans will always be plural. So when you say jeans, you're not talking about one. We're talking about a two or three, four jeans. You're talking about one, right? One, but it is a plural word. So we say, how much are those jeans? How much are those pants? How much are those shorts? How much are those sneakers? How much are those uh, stockings? Right, those words are always going to be good. And how much are those shoes far? Right, how much are those shoes? 
over there. If we say over there, it's not here. It's for allá. ¿Verdad? How much are those shoes over there? They are 95 pounds. This is just refreshing yesterday's uh, class. Do you, rem uh, do you have any questions here about yesterday's topic? No questions. No questions? Okay. Now, I have a, a conversation, well, two conversations, in which one you have different things. Remember, one new word that we also added yesterday was this one, using one or ones. We use one it, when we're talking about singular and we're talking about something that I don't want to repeat. For example, here, how much is this shirt? Which one, in vez de decir which shirt, yo digo which one, the blue one, o sea, the blue, the, the blue shirt, or the red one, the red shirt. Entonces, en vez de decir la palabra shirt again, I use one. See? The blue one, it's $35, and the red one, it's $32. I'll take the blue one. Okay, that will be $35. Here you are. Thank you. Here you are. Aquí tiene, right? When you're paying or when you're giving something to someone, if somebody tells you, mm, can you lend me your pen? I say, yeah, here you are, right? Here you are. I'm giving you, it, it doesn't mean aquí estás tú, ¿verdad? No, aquí está. Aquí está. That's what you're saying when you say here you are. And we have the other conversation where uh, the things are in plural, right? Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? The blue ones. Check. If we're talking about singular, we use one. But if we're talking about plural, we add the S and we say ones. Which ones? The blue ones or the black ones? See? And they decide which jeans? The blue, the blue jeans or the black jeans? See? Me ahorro el repetir la palabra jeans muchas veces. Sí, repito ones, pero no repito jeans. Okay? The blue ones, they are $65, and the black ones, they are $72. I'll take the blue ones, okay? That will be $65. Again, here you are, aquí tiene, right? Thank you, you're welcome. Now, let's repeat, repeat after me, excuse me. How much is this shirt? Excuse me, how much, how much is, is this shirt? Which one, the blue one or the red one? <clears throat> Which one? Which one? The blue, the blue one or, or one the red one? one? The blue one. The blue one. The blue one. It's thirty-five dollars. It's thirty-five dollars. Five dollars. And the red one? And the and red one? It's thirty-two dollars. It's, it's thirty-two dollars. I take the blue one. I um, the blue one. The blue one. Okay, that will be $35. Okay, that will okay, be that $35. Will be $35. Here you are. Here, Here you are. are. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Excuse me. Excuse me. How much are those shoes? Are, are those jeans? How much are those jeans? Which ones? Which ones? The blue ones or the black ones? The blue, blue ones, ones or, or the, the black, black ones? ones? The blue ones. The blue, the blue ones. ones. They are $65. They are $65. They are $65. And the black ones? And the black ones? They are $72. They are $72. I'll take the blue ones. I'll take, I'll take the blue, the blue ones. ones. Okay, that will be $65. Okay. okay, that will okay, be, that will be $65. $65. Here you are. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. 
work up. Okay, nice, nice. Any questions? No question, teacher. I need two volunteers to read the first conversation. Me Who teacher. Will be my volunteers. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Pedro and Sabrina. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse, excuse me, me. How... <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay excuse me how much is this shirt which one the blue one or the red one the blue one it's 35 dollars and the red one it's 32 dollars i'll take the blue one okay that will be 35 35 dollars here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, nice, nice. I need two more volunteers to read the second one. <clears throat> Who will be my next volunteer? Two more. Aha, Herman y Edgardo. Así es una volunteer teacher. Okay, okay, teacher. I, I am E or, or B. You can be A and Herman B. Okay. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Uh, which one? The blue ones or the black ones? The blue ones. They're $65. And the black ones? They're $72. I'll take the blue ones. Okay, that will be $65. Hear you. Thank you. Here you are. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. No questions. No questions. Teacher. Okay, no questions. perfect. No questions. Teacher. Perfect. Now, let's complete these sentences. Do you want to buy? Remember, we're using demonstrative pronouns. Mm -hmm. When you finish, let me know. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay.
Good evening. I'm Good sorry evening. to be late. Hi, Norma. How are you? Fine, thank. And llegando de la oficina, perdón. Uh, okay, okay, okay. At least it's not too late, right? Okay. Sometimes the traffic gets really heavy. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Marcelo. Right now we're making a review for the ones that have just entered. Okay. And making a review of yesterday's class, right? So here you're going to complete the, the sentences, well, the mini conversations, right? Okay. With this, that, okay. this, and those. Those are the words that you will need to use. So you have this, that. Yes, and those. those are the words that you need to use to complete. Teacher. Hola. Uh, the first mm -hmm. is, do you want to buy this table? Do you want to buy this table? Yeah. Tablet. This tablet. Do you want to buy this tablet? Yes, I want to buy the black one. Yes. Vamos a ver. <clears throat> it sounds to me more than they are like pointing, right? Pointing. Sí, if you sí. are pointing at something, what do you need? No sería, teacher, excuse me, uh, no sería that, teacher, uh, in, in, a, in a first. Yeah. Me, I do that teacher. To buy Me, that I put that. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, because you say, do you want to buy that tablet? And you say, yes, that I want tablet. to buy the black. Uh-huh. Sounds more okay. like that. Okay. Um, My friend and I are interested on... Mm -hmm. This or that. This My friend makeup. and I are interested on this makeup this or makeup. on that makeup. This makeup. Huh? This or that? For me, it's this teacher. Why? This teacher. If I tell you, can I have this marker? ¿Qué me dirían ustedes? The red one? Mm -hmm. If I have it in my hand, my friend and I are interested on 
This. On that makeup. You say, they check it. ¿Por qué le digo that? Porque le pregunta, the small box. Eso significa que hay una casa, caja pequeña y hay una caja grande. ¿Verdad? Y si yo le digo que I, my friend and I are interested on this pen, no me va a responder de, de red one, porque yo lo tengo en la mano. Ya lo identifiqué bien, ¿sí? Usted necesita o hace una pregunta de confirmación para ver cuál es el que quiere, porque está lejos. ¿Ya? So this one will be that too. What about number five? You can't add. This or those? This. This for sweater to charge. This for sweater. You can't add these for sweaters to the chart. But can I take two? Mm -hmm. What about number two? Can I see? Those jeans, yes. Those. Can I take those jeans? Sure. What size? Did you bring? Did you bring this package? This mm -hmm. this package. Uh, yeah, did you bring this package? Yes, I did. Aquí no habría gran diferencia en que le pregunte, did you bring this package? Did you bring this cell phone? Yes, I did. Did you bring that cell phone? Yes, I did. No, no hay no hay nada que le afecte a que pueda hacer this or that. ¿Verdad? Okay, what about number six? I have to go to buy those new books at the library. Yes, those new books. Those new books at the library. I'm going with you. Okay. Nice. Any questions here? No questions. Question, question. Mm, only teacher, only uh, number three, I don't understand the sentence. Uh, My friend and I are interested on that makeup. Yes. Makeup es maquillaje. Imagínese que son dos chicas las que andan en la tienda de Mac. Y ven dos cajitas de, de maquillaje, de polvo, puede ser, o, okay. o base que sea en, en cajita. Entonces, pero le pregunta, ¿la caja pequeña? Ok. ¿Eh? No, pero es que... Eh, eh... ¿Por qué that? No, no, entendí. Es que esa donde dice make-up, eh, lo entendí como... Ah, maquillaje quiere maquillaje. decir. Maquillaje. Sí, ah. es que make-up puede tener varios significados, ¿verdad? Dependiendo del contexto. En este uh -huh. caso, make-up es maquillaje. Uh, okay, en teacher. otro contexto, make-up, por ejemplo, si yo le digo, vaya, eh, right now, getting pairs and make up a story. Invéntese una historia. Como uh -huh. verbo. Pero en este caso, make-up es un noun. Aquí es noun. Es maquillaje. Es... Ok, teacher. ¿Verdad? Eso mm. sería el maquillaje. Clear. Uh -huh. Maquillaje. Thank you. Ok. Y si lo ve como eh, make-up, ya como verbo, si yo le digo, ok, let's make up a story. Inventémonos una historia. Make up a conversation, inventémonos una conversation. ¿Verdad? Y en ese, ese caso estaría actuando como verbo, no como nada. Pero aquí es un nombre. 
Sí, es que así lo entendía yo, este, este teacher, perdón, como inventar. algo que, como algo que, que se tenía que hacer. Ajá, ajá, exacto, sí, es que ese es otro de los, de los significados de make up en otro contexto, ¿verdad? Ok, pero ahí ya estoy claro. Okay, Gracias, perfect. Any other question here? Any other question? No more. Uh -huh. No. Estamos bien. Vaya, now it's time to change. This was the review of yesterday's class and now we are entering to the new topic. We are going to talk about Ken. Today, Ken and could. Ken and could, those are the two models that we are going to be talking about. Uh, remember I told you, I'm going to, to teach you, or we're going to talk about the different model, the different uses of these two models. And one of them is talking about abilities. When I use can, I say I can sing, right? I can sing, but I cannot dance. I'm talking about ability. I have the ability of singing, but I don't have the ability of dancing. I cannot dance. So talking about ability or lack of ability. Sí, ability en inglés no lleva, no lleva H. We can, we can't run, but we can walk long distances. We cannot, uh, we cannot run, but we can walk. So that's the ability. I, can, I have the ability to walk long distances, but not the ability to run. Yes? Luis can draw, but he can't color. I can make a flower with paper, but I cannot draw a flower. So that's ability. She can cook, but she can't make bread. I can't fly a kite, but I can make a flower. Karen can play the guitar, but she can't play the piano. So you have the ability and you have the, or, and you don't have the ability. So we use can for ability in the present. Yeah, in the present, can means ability in affirmative and lack of ability in negative. So if you say, I can't dance, you don't have the ability to dance, right? In my case, I can't dance. Yeah, I don't have that ability. But if you use could, I can perfectly use could to describe abilities, but from the past. So you say, when I was a child, I could climb trees, right? I could climb trees. Now, I cannot climb trees anymore. When I was a child, I could run fast. I could run fast. Okay, when I was a child, I could run fast, but now I cannot run anymore, right? I cannot run fast anymore. When I was a child, I could walk long distances. Now I walk, but not too long. So you see, so we're comparing the ability from the past that could and the ability from the present that is kin. If you want to make a sentence in the past in negative, you say, when I was a child, I couldn't speak English. I didn't have that ability. Now I can speak English. When I was a child, I couldn't cook. Now I can cook. See, that's talking about abilities. Any question here? 
question, no question. Uh -huh. No pay, question, teacher. Pay Thank attention, you. Pay attention to the form of the verb. El verbo siempre va a ir igual en forma base. No importa cuál sea el significado que se le esté dando a quien en ese momento. Siempre. Después de un modal, el verbo siempre va a ir así. Así, así como lo están viendo aquí. En forma base, sin tú. ¿Verdad? Sin tú. No, independientemente del contexto en el que se esté utilizando el que o el que. O cualquiera otro modo. Now, we also use can to make requests. If you want to be informal, you use can. Can I open the door? Sure, not a problem. Oh, can I open the door? Mm, I prefer not. Right? I prefer not. Eso significa, no, por favor, no la hable. Right? Could I talk to you for a minute? Of course. Could I talk to you for a minute? I prefer not. <laughs> you say I prefer not to visit it. Then no quiere hablar con you. Right? Um, can I help you? Yes, please. No, thanks. I'm just about you. Like when you go shopping, right? You're walking around, you're looking at things, and there is somebody getting close to you and saying, can I help you? Then you say, yes, please. Oh, no thanks. I'm just watching. So if you want to be very formal, use could. When making a request. If you want, remember, ability is a story. story. Could is past and can is present. ¿verdad? But if we're talking about requests, could is for you to be more formal and more polite. So if I use this, so este es formal. Formal. So if I want to make a request and I want to be formal in that request, I use could. But if you want, you don't worry, it's your friend, so you can be informal, you use can. Can is informal. If you say, can I... Can I close the window? Can I close the door? Can I turn on the computer? Can I use the computer? So every any time you're asking for something or you're making a request, that doesn't need to be formal, you just can. But if you are asking somebody who you do not trust, or you're not close, you can use food. Could I use the computer? Could I open the door? Could I close the door? So it depends on how formal you want to be, right? It depends. Uh, there are many other things that you can use to be extremely formal and even more formal than using could. For example, if you say, mm, would you mind? Would you mind if I open the door? If I say, would you mind if I open the door? That is even more formal than you should do. See? When talking about requests. Any question there? No question, teacher. Okay. Now, let's go to the conversation. You repeat after me. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. Linda, Linda is speaking. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? How, How can, can I, I help, help you? you? Hi, Linda. 
Hi, Hi Linda. Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. Of course. Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2. It, it has a capacity of, of five two. A tubo processor. A tubo, a tubo processor. processor. And an intelligent keyboard. And, and an intelligent, intelligent keyboard. keyboard. I see. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? Can you give Can me information, you give me information about, about, about the warranty? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat, Could you repeat that, please? please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Can, Can you, you give me information about, about the warranty? The warranty? Thanks. 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 The warranty of it is for? The warranty is for? Three years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three years. Yeah. Okay, just one thing. So check. Ah. Uh, okay. Es que me, ese, ese thanks me dijo así como que, ah, ¿por qué thanks? But it's because she asked him to repeat. Okay, one more time. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks, thanks so much, much for calling. calling. Linda speaking. Linda speaking. <laughs> Cuando usted responde el, el teléfono, usted dice, eh, good morning, ¿verdad? En algunos lugares se acostumbra que diga el, el nombre de la empresa, todo el nombre de la empresa, ¿verdad? Y después usted dice, ¿quién es el que está contestando la llamada? Entonces, en ese caso dice, Linda speaking. Marcelo is speaking, Pedro is speaking, Norma is speaking, para que la persona sepa quién es el que le está contestando. No dice, good morning, da, 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 the name of the, of the company, eh, I'm Linda, o you're talking to Linda, no, sino que Linda is speaking, right? Así ya se sabe quién es el que está contestando. Usted. Okay, one more time. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks so, so much, much for calling. Me. Linda is speaking. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? How can, How I, can I, help I help you? Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet. It has a capacity of 5.2 A tubo processor. A tubo processor. And an intelligent keyboard. And an intelligent keyboard. I see. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Could, Could you, you repeat, repeat that, that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Can, Can you, you give me information about, about the warranty? About the warranty? Thanks. 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 The warranty of it is for? The warranty, the warranty is, is for? Is for two years, two years. Well, usually one year, right? Okay. Uh, just repeat after me information. 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 Shun. 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 Cuando eh, tenemos palabras así que terminan en, en shun, television, information, transformation, el estrés va en la palabra anterior a shun. Es opuesto a lo que nosotros conocemos en español, que si tenemos una palabra que termina en sion, el acento va al mon, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés no, no va a decir información, sino que information. Information. And the stress will always be in the syllable before shun. 
information. Conversation. Conversation. Television. No importa si se escribe con T o si se escribe con S. Siempre la sílaba que va a llevar el estrés, porque en inglés no tenemos acentos, ¿verdad? Sino que es la fuerza de voz. Es estrés es la fuerza de voz que cae en una sílaba en específico. Entonces, en este caso, cuando mi palabra es en Sean, o sea, Sean Tion o Sean Sion, la pronunciación va a ser V, Television. Conversation, information, transformation, innovation. You say innovation. Mm -hmm. Any question here? Any no question? Question. <laughs> okay. Bye. I'm going to see if you have any question about any other word, pronunciation or meaning. Hmm? This teacher, eh, como esta parte de que, no, donde está la información, eh, donde responde Juan, I see. I see. Abajo you give me information? Me. Warranty. The warranty? Uh, warrant. Warrant. Warranty. 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 Sí. Warranty. Warranty. That's the warranty. Mm -hmm. Processor. Sí. Processor. Processor. Capacity. El estrés aquí está en pa. Capacity. Capacity. Warranty. Warranty. Mm -hmm. Intelligent. 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 Keyboard. Keyboard. Si ustedes eh, se fijan un poquito a ponerle así como más oído a las palabras, se van a fijar. No todas las palabras tienen así un estrés bien fuerte pero en algunas de ellas se echa de ver bien en la, en la fuerza de la voz en una sílaba en particular y eso es lo que llamamos estrés right? capacity information proceso proceso intelligent no dice intel, intelligent ¿verdad? intelligent T. keyboard Warranty, gua, gua, gua se lleva el acento, el estrés, gua. Ok, any other question here? Mm -hmm. No question. Nice, nice, bueno. You're going to go to the groups to practice the conversation. And after you practice the conversation, you answer these questions. What does Juan want to buy? What question can you say instead of, of repeat? Are the customer and the agent polite or important? Why? Okay. So I'm going to send you to the rooms. Practice the conversation. And get ready, right, to answer the question. See you at 18, well, 17, 18 with me. I'm going to make four groups. Let's join. Practice the conversation. Join, join.
Alright, I'd like to join this. Mission. Carlos Roberto Dennis. Empieza, don. Empezaré. Okay. Thanks. Thanks so much for calling. Kelly is speaking. How can I help you? Um, uh, hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity, capacity of 5.2 cool point fit a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. Okay. Okay, Kelly. Teacher, y ahí quedamos como en más información que está pidiendo, va. Ajá, entonces, ahí ustedes pueden decir uh, the warranty is for one year, for two for, years. Uh, two years, Ajá. seven, ah, seven months. Ah, porque está, está pidiendo de cuánto va a ser la garantía. La garantía. Ajá. Six months, ah, one year, two years. Cambiamos, cambiamos papeles. Sí, sí. Ok. Bueno, voy con el con Linda. Sí. Uh, thanks, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Va a decir su nombre, don Germán. Yo le voy a decir. Hi, Germán. Could you ah, give bueno, me okay. some? <laughs> ok. Ok, ok. Thanks so much for Hi, calling. Herman. Hi, Herman. Sí, 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 sí. Okay. Hi, Herman. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Um, of course, it has capacity of 5.2 Q50, fifth, a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? <laughs> Thanks. The warranty is of it is for six months. Okay. Thank you. Eh, teacher, tengo dudas aquí. ¿Cómo se tiene que pronunciar Q? Punto FT. Fit. Q es cubic fit. Pies cúbicos. Eh, pero. Q. 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 Cubic fit. Point fit. Ajá. Cubic fit. Cubic. Ajá. Cubic. Point fit. Ah. Es fit. Aunque se ponga, ah, aunque se ponga la abbreviation, usted puede decir la palabra. Vale. Okay. Okay. Kiwi, a turbo proceso. Eh, Waldemar eh, va a hablar la conversación. Vale. Lo hacemos juntos y después lo hace con don Germán. Okay. Bye. Empiezo. Thanks so much for calling. Kelly is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Kelly. How would you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2. Cube, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? 
I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for six. Okay, thank you. ¿Cómo se dice meses? Ay, se me fue la palabra. Month. For six months. Ay, sí, es month. Brandon, dame el conector que ya me va a descargar esto, por favor. Waldemar, dele con Don Germán. Okay, um, I start. Mientras conecto la compu. Okay. okay. Uh, thanks so much for calling. Herman is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Herman. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has capacity of 5.2 Q.5, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for uh, one year. Okay, thank you. Okay. Great. Teacher? Hey, great, great. Vaya, now go answer the questions, right? Um, um, what does Juan, qué, qué es lo que Juan va a comprar, verdad? Uh -huh. Juan, want to buy, no, Juan, 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 want to buy a... Uh -huh. Q-Fit, a turbo processor. Uh -huh. Q-Fit, a turbo processor, um, intelligent, keyboard. Keyboard. Uh, keyboard. Key, keyboard or cable? Keyboard. 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 Okay. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I am sorry. Could you repeat the please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Some. Some warranty of the is for uh, two years. Two years, see you there. Mm -hmm. Oh, hola. Yes, Muy bien, Marcelo, gracias. Okay. Okay. Ahí vamos otra mm -hmm. vez. Switch. Hi, Nosotros. teacher. Yes, switch. switch. Uh, thanks, you uh, thanks so much for calling. Linda's speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some one information about the Pro washer? Of course. It is has capacity of 5.2. Q fit a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty is for four years. Para que me compre a mí le voy a dar más garantía. <laughs> Teacher, yeah. eh, estamos leyendo la question uh, number three. Dice, mm -hmm. are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Porque entonces si nosotros leemos el diálogo, utilizó ambas porque... En un momento le dice, por favor, eh, podría, eh, eh, lo siento, podría repetirme, por favor, está haciendo hola, eh, pero al principio este, le dice, ¿cómo puedo ayudarte? O sea, es impolá. Ah, entonces, ah, eh, ah, la cosa entonces, es que cuando usted ofrece ayuda, no puede decir, how could I help you, sino que ahí uh, siempre va a decir, how can I help you. Uh -huh. Pero entonces la respuesta de la number three sería, porque también abajo le responde nuevamente de forma así, call. ¿sería ambas o solo, o solo hay una eh, en especial? Sería, eh, I will say that Linda is, is polite. Right? Uh -huh. Linda, Linda uh -huh. is polite. 
And Juan is sometimes polite, but on the other side is sometimes in, uh, informal. So, Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Maybe no impolite, but informal. I would say more informal than impolite. Okay, es aquí... eh, no hay que ser impolite, sino que es, es more polite el, el usar el, el good. ¿Verdad? Es más, es más amable. No es que el otro sí, sí. sea rudo, pero el que el good es más, es más amable y es más formal. Y en la, en, digamos, en el módulo anterior, la, la, la teacher decía que era polite cuando uno le agregaba, por ejemplo, una palabra de decir please. Eh, era, era, si uno le agrega como please o por favor puedes. Ah, pero, eh, aún, eso... pero aún con el please eh, tiene que cuidar el, el, la información. Oh. Ah, porque si yo le digo, can you repeat please? No sé, ¿verdad? Entonces, it's not polite. Then, even when you add please, you have to be careful with the intonation. Can you help me, please? It's not polite, right? But can you help me, please? Entonces, sí, te... Ajá. Tiene mucho que ver con la expresión también, ¿verdad? Sí, the intonation has intonation. to be a lot. It's not just adding please, but also uh, the intonation. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That, so, uh -huh. That's why I tell you, it's not like Ken is impolite, but the other one is more polite, right? In this case, I will ask, uh, are they formal or informal? Because it has more on that way, that when you use could, you are being more formal, than when you use can. Can is something that you will use more with your friends. Mm -hmm. okay? Because it's no. form. Es como medio rosadón, no es tan ni rojo ni tan. Exactly. Es rudo, ¿verdad? Eh, rudo uh -huh. sería que le dijera, give me information about it. Allí sí sería rudo. Eso sería impolite. Definitivamente. Okay. Give me give me information about the pro washer. And the other person will be like, okay. Just because it's his job, he would do that. But that would be uh, impolite. But if you're using can, I wouldn't take it like totally impolite. It will depend on the intonation. Right? The intonation yeah. has a lot to do. With, with what is the intonation that that Juan is using when asking for the information? Okay. He's informal, Dep right? Dep He's informal. Dependiendo la hora del día en la que uno haga la pregunta, porque si es en la mañana está fresco, si es en la tarde. <laughs> <laughs> y el pobre vendedor también ya está cansado, right? Ya, ya en la noche ya no quiere. ¿Qué decía? <laughs> está bien. Ya está cansado, exactly. Okay, ready, ready, for me, ready. Ready, vámonos, pues. Okay, gracias, teacher. Hoy Pedro está escondido. Uh, se esconde Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> Any other question here? Uh, no. No. Yes, ready. Vaya, pues, let's go again. Okay. Coming, coming. Mm. Mm. 
โอเคไปสิหนึ่งบาจัง Let's see. I will need a couple of volunteers to lead the conversation. Who will be my volunteers? Only two. The group number three, I think. Oh, oh okay. Let me see. Ese era un otro, ¿verdad? I want. I want to see who were. Okay. Bella, Edgar, Norma, y Ro Ronald. Éramos Norma, Ronald, mi uh -huh. y no me recuerdo el otro compañero. Walter Fawawa. Oh, okay. Pero venía manejando. Ah, sí, sí, Walter was in my group too. Vaya, go ahead, Edgar and Norma. Ok. You first, partner. Norma, you are Linda. Okay. Um What? Norma. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Thanks so much. I... <laughs> Good morning. Um intelligence calling. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Hi, Norma. Could you give me some? Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity of five point two cup feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me the information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thank. The warranty of it is for five years. Thank you. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay. Very good, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, look at the question. What does one want to buy? Uh, the first teacher, uh -huh. uh, one, uh, buy, he, he buys the pro washer. Uh -huh. He wants to buy a pro washer. Yes. What is a pro washer? In Spanish, it's lavadora, teacher. Una washing machine, quiere ver. He wants, he wants to buy a washing machine. He wants to buy a washing machine. Pro washer en la marca, ¿verdad? He wants to buy a Samsung. Así, no, frigider es refrigeradora only, right? He wants to buy a Mavi or an LG or a General Electric. He wants, I mean, <laughs> qué barbaridad, ya que estoy escribiendo yo. Vaya, he wants to buy, hoy oh, sí, he wants to buy a washing machine. Because the pro washer is a washing machine. Yeah. Okay, what question can you say instead of repeat? The warranty. But instead of repeat, what do you say? Mm -hmm. Can you give me information about the warrant? And there you're asking for information. And instead of saying repeat, what do you say? The 
Linda, Linda Ash. Linda Ash, newly uh, young. Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> or repeat the about the warranty. Exactly. Would you repeat? Could you repeat uh -huh. the information? Exactly. Instead of so or of, of only saying repeat, could you repeat that? Please. Oh, you can say also, could you say that again? Could you say that again? En vez de decir solamente repeat. No, could you say that again? Could you repeat that again? Because you're you're trying to be polite, and that's why you're using good, verdad? Right? Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Look at the conversation. Why is impolite? Impolite means que no es amable. Impolite is amable. I think they are they are polite. Mm -hmm. uh, polite teacher. They are polite. They are polite. Polite. Yes. They are polite. For example, uh, here if Linda said repeat Ahí sería impolite, right? In that case, she would be impolite. She said only, repeat. That would be impolite, but she said, could you repeat that? What about this question? Can you give me information about the warranty? Is that polite? Yes or no? Can you give me information about the warranty? No polite. No. Vale, let's go to una cosa. When we use a could, that is the, 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 the general information about could says it is more polite. See? Si dice que es más amable, significa que can. Es amable, ¿verdad? Pero no es formal. Como cool. Mm -hmm. Cool es amable. Es cool, es amable. Es correcto. más, pero más. dice más amable. Eso significa que si este es más amable, también el otro era amable, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, sí es amable, pero es informal. Ajá. Entonces, acá yo podría decir, they are polite, that... In some cases, the customer is informal. Yeah, he is informal. Maybe no impolite, because impolite would be like, give me information about the warranty. Eso sería impolite. Eso sería rude. ¿Verdad? Eh, give me some information about the pro washer. Eso sería rude, porque estaría como dándole al empleado que no es empleado una orden, right? Eso se convertiría eh, convertiría en impolite. Pero cuando le agrega cool se vuelve polite. Y en este caso, aunque esté usando can, 
sigue siendo polite menos que en este caso, pero se vuelve también informal. Informal. No es polite, que, pero informal. ¿Verdad? Es que en este caso, teacher, sí, ¿verdad? O sea, se ocupa, tengo entendido que good para, la, para las formalidades y, y can para la informalidad. Exacto. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí. Y, y cuando hablamos de más amable, no le quita que quien sea amable, aunque es informal, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si usted está en una reunión importante y usted quiere salir al baño, y ni modo que tiene que pedir permiso, va a usar tú, ¿verdad? Para decirle, tú dai. O si le quiere preguntar a la gente si puede apagar la luz, por ejemplo, could I turn off the lights? Could I close the windows? Porque usted quiere ser formal y al mismo tiempo no. Right? Más. Más amable. Si ocupa quién, en ese caso quedaría muy informal. Uh -huh. Okay, any other question? No question. Es solo, solo, eh, entonces aquí quedaría como, eh, lo tomarían como, ¿por qué lo toman como polite y, y no como impolite? En la, en la tercera pregunta. La pregunta sí. número tres. Sí, o sea, yo sé que, o sea, yo sé que tal vez está como mal, eh, establecido quizás el, el hecho de, de decir y, y por, porque aquí es la, form, la formalidad la que se está viendo ¿verdad? entonces no sería impolite porque se ocupa eh, cam en esa oración Pregunta. fíjense que cuando hablamos de impolite este tiene un sinónimo de root y ahí en ningún caso se faltaron al respeto, ni, okay. el, ni el customer, ni, el, ni el, el seller, ¿verdad? Por eso es que decimos que ellos fueron polite. Si la pregunta fuera, are the customer and the agent formal or informal? Porque en la can and could no llevan a las dos cosas, a ser polite o more polite, no dice polite or impolite, sino que no llevan a ser polite o more polite, ¿verdad? O formal o informal. En el caso de formal, sí no lleva al opuesto, formal o informal, ¿verdad? Could es formal, while can is in, informal. Aquí sí es el opuesto. Okay. Pero en el caso de, de can and could como polite o impolite, el can no es que sea impolite. Sí es polite, pero could es more polite. Y es lo que les comentaba al principio. Cuando usted quiere ser todavía más, más amable, uh -huh, más amable y, y como que van atado el ser amable y el ser formal en este tipo de, de, de contexto, van atados. Entonces, si usted quiere ser más amable y por lo tanto, más formal, hay otras eh, frases que puede también ocupar. Ya les voy a, voy a agregar una paginita. Pacheco. Uh -huh. If I want to be more formal. No se ve, teacher. No se ve. Es que no he escrito nada todavía. Ven una página en blanco, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, vale. Ok. Vale, check. If I want to be eh, formal, I have to add more words. I need to make it bigger. So, I say, can I, can I open the door? Stay informal, ¿verdad? Could I open the door? Uh, 
is more formal than the previous. But if you say, mm, I want to be more formal because I'm talking with the, 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 the boss, the principal boss of the company. So I want to be very formal. Then you say, would you mind Would you mind if I open the door? Vamos a cambiar el verbo. Would you mind if I turn off the lights? See? Would you mind if I turn off the lights? Y ahí es, le importaría si apago la luz. Eso es todavía más formal que cool. ¿Verdad? Y si usted quiere todavía ser más formal, I was good. ¿no? In the back of me, I was wondering if me preguntaba, y aquí puede darle dos usos. I was wondering if I could go home early. Me preguntaba si me podía ir temprano. Right? Yo me preguntaba. So you see, es más larga, cada pregunta es más larga. Y entre más larga la pregunta, más formal es. ¿Sí? ¿Y por qué la hace más larga? Porque está como dando más vueltas antes de decir lo que usted quiere, como cuando usted estaba chiquito y le quería preguntar a su mamá algo que sabía que le iba a decir que no, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando usted piensa que le pueden decir que no, ocupa la pregunta más formal, más larga, tratando de ser más amable y más formal para poder conseguir la respuesta que realmente quiere. Right? Yeah. I was wondering if you could lend me your computer. See? Entonces, ¿quiere ser más formal? Le agrega más palabras. Pero les decía, yo pude solamente como uno de los inicios, ¿verdad? Y it's polite, but there are others that are more polite. Este también lo puede usar así. Would you mind lending me your car? <coughs> ¿Te importaría prestarme tu car? Sabe que sí le va a importar al otro. Por eso no le dice, can you lend me your car? If the person is your friend and you know you could get it, you could say, can you lend me your card? But if you think the answer will be no, you try to go more for it. Yeah? See? Any question here?
So next time you want to make a request, think about how formal you want to be, who you are asking the question to, and if you think you could get a, a negative answer, then try to ask with the longer question. Okay. Any question here? Question, no question. Uh -huh. Este es solamente para conocimiento general. Ahorita no se lo van a preguntar en un examen. Don't worry. <laughs> Just for you to know that you can use them. Okay. Question? No question. No teacher. No. So. Check. These are some questions uh, that you can usually get from customers, right? How much is it? What time do you open? What type of material do the children need? What products are on stack? How much electricity does the refrigerator consume? Is there a discount? What products are there on sale? But I want to ask these questions in important. So I can say, can you tell me how much it is? Mm -hmm. can, you can you tell me how much it is? Can you give me information? Can you give me information about the, the warranty? Can you give me information about the cost? Can you give me? Can you give me information? ¿Se acuerdan como las preguntas que tenía en la conversación? Can you give information about the cost? About the cost of the computer. Si se fija. La pregunta se vuelve mucho más larga, ¿verdad? What time do you open? Can you tell me what time you open? Este, este tipo de preguntas así como para hacerse más, más formal, los van a ver más adelante, allá como por el intermedio. Bueno, así es que ahorita lo que yo quiero es que vean que... Estas preguntas pueden tomarse como informales, pero si usted quiere ser más, más formal, se viene a usar el quién o el tú o cualquiera de las otras. Okay? So, what time do you open? Can you give me information about the time you open? Can you give me information about the material the children need? Entonces, esa es una forma de volverse como mucho más formal, pero no es que siempre va a ser necesario. ¿Ok? Vaya, let's move. Remember, we're talking about can and we're talking about who. I can give you my personal information. She can't pay for the washer right now. She can't. Not possible. En este caso, can't is not possible. Can I have your credit card number? Request. Este es un request. Can you tell me how many items you need? Sí. Men, can you tell me? Can you tell me what time you open? Sí. Can you tell me what type of material the children need? This es una forma de volver la pregunta más formal. Aunque esté usando can, es más formal. Can I have your credit card number? Now, if you want to be still more formal, you could try with the uh, with another credit card. 
they couldn't give you my billing address. No possible, right? This is not possible. Could you spell your last name? Request. Could we check the details of the, of the order? Request. So here I have a request. Remember about the different uses that we were saying. These last two are requests to. I can give you my personal information. ¿Qué tipo de, de oración es esta? Vamos a ver. I can give you my personal information. Is that possibility? Or permission? What do you think? I can give you my personal information. It is possible. You see us here. You could try with another credit card. Possible. See? She can't pay for the washer right now. Not possible. That's possibility negative. Acá no es prohibition. And that is possibility. And she can't pay for the washer right now. No puede pagar por qué. Por cualquier motivo, but she can't. They couldn't give you my billing address. It's not possible. No le pudieron haber dado mi dirección. Right? They couldn't give you my billing address. Possibility. Okay? So we're talking here about possibility and request. Now I have some exercises for you. And you're going to use can or could for possibility. Okay, let's complete the sentences talking about possibility. Elephants. Elephants. Can be very dangerous. Can, can be very dangerous. Aquí no vas a faltar un verbo. ¿eh? In the elephants can be very dangerous. A hundred years ago, flu. Teacher. Uh -huh. Because why, why be? Why be? Because remember that with the model, I use the modal uh, plus the verb in the basement. Verb base. Por eso, la forma base del verbo to be. Ya si lo conjugo, ya digo is. Pero si ya le pongo is, ya no lo puedo usar después del modo. Pues tiene que ir el verbo así, como nació. En forma base, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y fíjese que en los demás verbos no se echa de ver, porque como a la hora que yo lo ocupo con I, you, we, they, no le pongo ese, no, aunque lo conjugue, se ve como que estuviera en forma base, entonces ahí no se ve la diferencia. Pero en el caso de B, sí se ve, porque cuando yo ocupo B, y, y, y no importa si lo estoy ocupando con I, ya lo empiezo a conjugar y ya ocupo I am. ¿Verdad? Pero acá, después de un modo, vamos a usar el be en forma base. A ver, let's see number two. A hundred years ago, flu. A hundred years ago, remember. Can or could? Sí, porque estamos hablando de past. You could be very dangerous. Okay. Your key is... Your key... Possibility. Mm -hmm. Your keys 
can be in your pocket, in your jacket, or could be in your jacket. Can, can be in your other jacket. Yes. Your keys can be in your other jacket. Your keys can be in your other jacket. They are tw uh, 30 minutes late. Could be lost. They could. They could be lost. They could be lost. It is possible, right? That they could be lost. Podrían. Aquí no es pueden, sino que podrían estar perdidos. Okay, this bill. Can be. Can't be. See sí, now negative. Can't be correct. It's too much. Mm -hmm. Number six, you can or could. Could be. Uh -huh. You could. Hoy sí vamos a usar otro verbo. You could. I was at home all day. Mm -hmm. Ver, complete it. You could visit. Visit. Yeah. You could visit me yesterday. Me podría haber, me podría visitar. Me podría haber visitado ayer. I was at home. They arrived over an hour late. They Aquí vamos a usar el pasado. Podrían habernos dicho. Nos podrían haber dicho. They could have told us. They arrived over an hour late. They could have told us. Nos podrían haber dicho. Bueno, iban a llegar a mi estado. Ok. Now, check. Remember, we use could. To show that something is possible, but not certain. See? Possible. They could come by car. Maybe they will come by car. It's possible. Certain, no. But possible, yes. They could be at home. Maybe they are at home. I'm not very sure if they are at home or not. But it could be possible, right? If we use can to make general statements about what is possible. It can be very cold here in winter. Miren, that's a general statement. It can be very cold here in winter. It is sometimes very cold here in winter. Si puede, puede ponerse bien helado acá, right? We can, uh, we can get snow. In el pital, sometimes, right? We can get snow in el pital. General statement. De vez en cuando, no siempre. Okay, you can easily get lost in this town. People often get lost in this town. You can, por el easily es que decimos así frecuentemente, bien. You can easily get lost. See? Now, we can also use can't or cannot to say that something is impossible, that can't be true. You cannot be serious. She can't be lost. This is a small town, right? She can't be lost. 
Arthur, se puede perder, es, es bien chiquito, aquí este pueblo es chiquito, right? So, you see the difference? Yes, yes. Now, let's put into practice here. We're going to make a couple of requests, right, questions, and then we are going to go to a practice this, talking about possibility or impossibility. Okay, let's make the questions. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to work together and write the questions about things that people could ask you in your job, right? Sometimes people can get to your job and they can ask you different things. Like, can you, can you help me with these bugs? Can you give me information about the computers and so on? Can you lend me your car, right? If your colleagues can ask you that. Okay, what questions can you write using can and using for? I'm going to send you a, to the groups for you to work together, write the questions, and then don't get surprised if you are talking and suddenly one of your partners disappears because I will be moving you from one group to another. I'm going to give you about five minutes for you to write the questions, and then I'm going to start moving you to go ask the questions. ¿Ok? Primero escriben las preguntas con el grupo al que van y de ahí los voy a sacar así. Voy a sacar uno, lo voy a mandar a otro grupo y le voy a mandar a alguien más para que le pregunte. No puedo decir pregunte las preguntas. <ríe> so you ask the questions. ¿Ok? ¿Ready? Yes. yes. Vaya pues. Vamos a ver, I'm going to make new groups. Don't join. Remember, you have four questions to write. Ya lo mando, Germán. Voy a ver qué grupo me queda más solo. No todos se me unen. Oye, ya lo agrego en un momento. Okay, teacher. Vale, el que veo ahorita soy el número uno, me voy quedando solo. Lo voy a mandar a Luis. Check. Check. Le aparece. Nice. Valdemar, Walter, Dennis, Mauricio, Marcelo, Tracy Jones, Vega. Tuve igual. Oh, verdad, ahí entonces. Bueno, dime qué es lo que hay que hacer porque esos dos minutos estoy perdido. Va, lo que la teacher quiere es que nosotros nos preguntemos ahorita, este, por ejemplo, yo le entendí así, teacher, can you speak English? Esa es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo voy a recibir la respuesta de usted y ella nos va a ir cambiando así entre los grupos para preguntarnos con, otras, con otros compañeros. Okay. ¿Verdad, teacher? Exactly. Primero escriban las preguntas, ¿verdad? Ahorita ustedes dos escriben las preguntas. Pueden usar possibility, pueden usar permission, pueden usar request, cualquiera de las que quieran, ¿verdad? Usando las preguntas, usando can o could, y después lo voy a ir moviendo para que pregunten. Vaya. Uh -huh.
Pero solo la pregunta, no como de inglés que decía, eh, can, can you sing, but can't eh, dance? No, no, solo, no la solo la pregunta. Sí, solo la pregunta. Can you open the door for me? Can you help me? Maybe, can, maybe. Can you speak English? Can you speak English? Can you lend me uh -huh. a computer? Todos los usos que hemos, que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Para sí. el cliente. Ay, Pedro. Ay, hi. Somebody here. Bye. Vaya, primero con sus compañeritos escriban las preguntas, ¿verdad? Recuerden uh, que hemos hablado de possibility, de request, de permission. Entonces ustedes pueden usar eh, como les parezca mejor el quién y el por para hacer las preguntas. Sí, no veo a Norma ni a Walter. Here, I'm here. Ah, va, esta norma. Vaya, let's write the question. No tienen mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Que no alcancé a copiar las preguntas. Teacher. Ahí están en el manual, Norma. Sí. Page, page 21. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, it's the 22. Sí. I, I have already two questions, the number one, number two. Okay. But the number three. What question do you have in number one, Miguel? Uh, can you tell me the, the cell phone price? Okay. And the number two is uh, could you play basketball this weekend? Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice, nice. Number three, I, I was writing. You were trying to write it. Okay. Um, it's, it's like the, it's, it's like the, the number one, two. Ajá, uh -huh, es can. Uh, remember, it's, it's you similar. can use as ability, as possibility, or as a request to ask for information, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, can I, can, can you open, can you open the window for me? Mm -hmm. Can you open the window for me? The number four. Uh, could, could you could you repeat the? Could you repeat the the? The answer, please. Uh -huh. Could you repeat the answer, please? Or could you repeat the question, please? Repeat the question. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the stop. My four. Excellent. You ready? So I'm going to move you, Miguel, so you can go ask the questions to somebody in another group. Podría sentar en esta silla. Um, Now you hello. can take turns asking the questions. Uh, 
बोला टीचर आई आई टीचर सॉरी आई Es que fíjese que tuve un pequeño a, a, este, agravio o accidente en este momento. Estaba yo sentado y de repente mi hija me tocó el hombro. Y me había quedado dormido. <ríe> y ahorita estamos en lo de las preguntas. Pues, dije yo, mal. Ahorita la estábamos formulando. Ya me pusieron al tanto como usted, pero bien chistoso. Si yo solo sentí que había cerrado un poquito los ojos y de ahí sentí que me tocó el hombro mi vieja, entonces tía, me asusté. El, Va, pero ya. el cansante, ya, ya está. Sí. Sí. Ya estoy, ya estoy, hoy sí, ya, ya. Ay, no. Sí, no me, no me había pasado, yo soy muy honesto, no estaba. Sí, pero hay un momento en que mi cuerpo dice descansar. Sí, sí, sí. Pero yeah. almost time. Me aflige. <ríe> <ríe> no, lo, lo que me aflige es que estoy en martes apenas, imagínese ya. Sí. Apenas son es martes, entonces eso es lo único. Pero así pasa, a veces uno, hay un día que anda súper cansado, pero ya el otro día anda como nuevo. ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Tratar de, de, de dormir bien hoy. Sí, sí. No, lo primero que voy a hacer nomás, terminar las clases y voy a, a aterrizar, porque a veces uno queda uno haciendo cosas o, o dando vueltas, no solo vueltas. Y eso se le termina yendo el sueño, ya como. Exacto. Exacto. Que no hay directo a dormir. <ríe> a ver, ¿cómo vamos, eh, Germán? Eh, bueno, ya tenemos varias, teacher. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, la primera, bueno, era la más fácil, ¿verdad? Can you speak English? Ok. Eh, the second, eh, will I sit down in the chair? Uh -huh. eh, the third, I could come to your house in the morning. Repeat that one. Uh, I could come to your house in the morning. Could I? Como es pregunta, could I? Could I come uh, to your house? Uh -huh. Could okay. I come to your house? Uh, can she to drive this car? Can she drive this car? Very good. Uh, solo esas, bueno, dos, cuatro. Hecho uh, ahí, teacher. Excelente. Vaya, okay. hoy, pregun hoy pregúntense, ¿verdad? Hoy pregúntense, mm -hmm. que les vayan dando las respuestas a los demás compañeritos. Ok. Se okay. puede seguir ahí. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? <laughs> teacher, any question? Uh, 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 Did you ask the question? So Can you tell me your age, teacher? My age? I am <laughs> 51. <clears throat> yeah, is it polite or not polite? It's impolite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's impolite. You're not supposed to ask people's age. No, but nah, don't, I don't care. <clears throat> I have no problem with my age. I remember once a student told me, teacher, It was a boy, he was about like, 20 years or something like that. He told me, teacher, you know, worry uh, about getting older. And I said, no, the years that I'm getting, they are getting to me one by one. So <laughs> yeah, I must say, <laughs> if, they, if I got five years at once, I would feel like, oops. From 40 to 45, and then from 45 to 50, and they have given. Yeah, yeah. So, no problem. Yo, we have said it to you, 40, 45, 46. Como dicen en español, no pasa nada. So, they are getting little by little, so no problem. Imagine if we if we got older, one day you are 50 and the other one you are 55, and we're like, 
<risa> Tengo un punto. Mucho más. Bye, bye, bye. Y Sabrina, is there Sabrina? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Respondí, okay. Sabrina. Ya le preguntaron cuántos años tiene. Mejor no. No, teacher. No, they, they don't ask me. They haven't asked I'm 25. They haven't. Ok. A ver, I imagine, I imagine is younger. Who? Uh, she, a Sabrina. Sabrina is <laughs> much younger. I know, I know. A ver, what questions do you have? Can I use your phone? Okay. Can you do me a favor? Number four. Could you call me later? Mm -hmm. Could you call me later? Very good. Can you drink beer? No, I can't. And I don't like it. <laughs> Only uh, okay. I drink cocoa. No, only cocoa. Coca -Cola. Chocolate. Chocolate. Coffee. <laughs> only coffee. Taxi. Coffee, coffee. Okay, very good. Vamos, pues. It's almost 10. Let's go. Okay. Hi, hi. Coming. Oh, 45 seconds for everybody. Twenty seconds. Mm -hmm. Four seconds. Almost. Okay. A ver. Uh huh. Oh, see. Everybody here. What question do you have in number one? Can you? Can you help me with my report? Okay, could you? Help me with my report. And the second? Could you, could could you, you do, do me a favor? Could you do me a favor? Yeah, Very good. Number three. Can, can I use your phone? Can I use your phone? Or, What about number four? Number four, number four, number four, number four. Could you call me? No. Could you call me? Okay, could you call me later? Imagine somebody's calling you, you're in a meeting or you're in class or you're busy. You can say, could you call me later? I have some examples here. Can you lend me those black things? Of course. Can you give me your personal information? Sure, no problem. Can you repeat your name? My name is... Could you wash the dishes for me? What would you say? Could you wash the dishes for me? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's okay. I'll wash the dishes for you. Or you can say... Dishes? What are the dishes, teacher? Los platos. Oh, Los okay. que nunca se acaban. Siempre hay un montón. <laughs> Thank you. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta negativa? <laughs> Eso es broma, teacher. <laughs> no, por supuesto. Sí. Never. Que, no, siempre <laughs> tiene que decir que... Mm -mm. Por ejemplo, can you let me those black pants? 
You can say sorry. Sí, okay. I'm using them, right? Sorry, I'm using them. No siempre tiene que decir que sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. Más se sabe que es alguien que no se lo va a decir. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say sorry, I'm using them. Can you, could you give me your personal information? Mm. ¿Se acuerdan que vimos al principio? I prefer not. I prefer not. Entonces, prefiero no, no dársela, ¿verdad? I prefer not. Can you repeat the, your name? Aquí sí podríamos decir, sure, no problem, right? O ya say the name. Eh, could you wash the dishes for me? Yes, it's okay. I'll wash the dishes. Sorry. If you say no, but then. Pero como vamos a tratar de ser polite. You say, sorry, I'm busy now. Y así ya usted bien galante. En, sin ser malo. ¿Verdad? <laughs> Siendo amable. Ok, being polite. Any question here? No question. ¿Y se puede probar los... Uh -huh. Well, we have gotten to the end. I'm going to call the last attendance and I will tell you who stays with me today. Let's see, Beja Lisbeth present. Bella. Bella, bella. Eh, Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling. Darling. Lenny. Edgar Eduardo. Present teacher. Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Germán Agustín. Germán. Hola, Germán. Jessica Raquel. Present teacher. Carla María. Carla. Kelly Marcela. Good night teacher. Present. Ah, Kelly. Marcelo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Mauricio. Present. Good night. Good night. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Miguel. Moisés Elías. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Moisés. Norma Maritza. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Pedro Antonio. Present teacher. Ronald Josué. Ronald, Ronald. Sabrina. Present. Tamara Lisa. Good night. Good night. She's in the hospital. Tamara is in the hospital. Tamara is in. I thought it was working. I thought the one that was in the hospital was Bella. No. No. Uh, uh, she was sick. Oh. Tamara is sick. Bella is work in a hospital. Ah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I I read the the. I read the message, but like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. I, I thought the one that was as sick is it was big. Okay. okay, that good that she's not bad that that Tamara is. Okay, Gualdemar, present. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Walter. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Walter. See you. Okay. Oh, it's a good Herman, right? Today's class number seven. Yes. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night, bye. partner. See Thank you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. bye. See you. Bye. bye. Take care.